Hi guys. So I'm do a not really gonna do a review on the Bargo. I did want to give you some specs on it. Um, it weighs I think it's four and a half ounces. Yeah, four point four point nine ounces is what this weighs uh, with the lid. It does come with drain holes in the lid, so if you're like me and you cook ramen noodles but you don't like them soupy, you know, you've got this, you pull it off your little fire, you got a little knob that you can use to pour the water off your noodles. That's how I usually like to make mine. I like to cook the noodles till they're soft and then put the seasoning pack in and drain the, the water out. Just adds more flavor to it to me. But um, I'm going to use this to do my boil test. Now this holds 750 uh, milliliters. I did not convert that to uh, ounces. I will do it when I get home and I'll annotate it in the uh, sidebar of the video there. But we're going to get our little Vargo stove and I'm actually going to set this up. I'll clear some of these leaves out of the way and we'll set it up real quick and we'll do a product review on that gel fuel. So let me get right back with you. Alright guys, I'm going to do a product review for you real quick for Rob at the canteen shop. This is on the gel fuel, the diethylene glycol. These are 1.25 ounces per pack of product. So in other words, in each pack there's 1.25 ounces of product in the pack. Um, you saw my little video, Lunch with the Vargo. Um, each one of these has a neat little saying on them. I think the one yesterday was uh, never get in a fight with a guy without having more ammunition than him. Somebody, it was a cute little thing. Uh, this one, of course, is paraphrasing an old Marine Corps saying, hope for the best, prepare for the, prepare for the worst. Sigby uh, Pacum Parabellum, I believe, is the actual saying. You want peace, prepare for war. But uh, I think they're cool. I said these are military issue. Um, they have a little notch here on the side to make it easier to tear into. Now, yesterday I could not get it to light with my ferro rod, but I'm going to try a little bit harder today just to see if it'll light. Um, I think Rob said that he's going to try using the F1 because that thing throws some serious sparks off. And uh, he's going to see if he can get it to go. And he's got a bigger ferro rod. I'm using the Scout. He's got, you know, the Army size rod. So uh, let's get this stuff ripped open here. I'm going to tell you what. This is a tough pouch. You don't have to worry about it uh, popping open or puncturing or anything like that. Because just like the MREs are packaged in, the plastic on this pouch is just strong to say the least. But we'll get it out of there. We'll get us a little stick here. Get all that off of there. You want to get all of it in there. Like I said, it's a real thick gel. Um, it does not ooze when it burns. So wherever you put it at, that's where it stays at. Alright, get all that down in there. And I'm actually going to try to pile it up in a little peak here just to see if maybe it'll get a little bit more air to it. I'll set that there. We don't leave no garbage. No, it's not it's not starting with my rod, but I keep a lighter on me, I'm a smoker. Alright. And this thing burns so clean, y'all, you will not see the flame. I mean eventually you can, but I don't. We're gonna get that there. That should be about two cups. And since we don't want to cook this little worm here, we're going to move him away from the fire. 
You don't have a little buddy. All right, sir. And we're going to get the timer going here. All right. I know y'all can't see that. We got the timer started. We'll put our lid on it. I'm going to cut the camera off, and we'll see how long this booger takes. Hey guys, got that zoomed in for you there. You can see uh, it's going. There's not much wind, but there's enough of a ground breeze coming through that it's blowing a lot of the flame out to the side. I didn't bring a windscreen with me. Um, I'm going to have to start carrying one, I guess. Um, I'm so used to the Swedish stove, you know, that Swiss stove with the triangia. It comes with a, excuse me, it comes with a windscreen and everything, but I didn't bring one. Um, been about 10 minutes, I guess, it's been boiling and uh are not boiling but you know heating up we got a good bit of bubbles good bit of steam so we get in there but if i'd have brought a windscreen we'd be there already but uh the other thing is there's still tons of stuff in there it ain't nowhere near burning out so we'll uh zoom this back out and i'll be back with you here in a minute all right guys get this, uh, these handles aren't so hot they're hot down here at the bottom they're a little warm but they're not that bad like i said the wind's been blowing a little bit um we're at a, a boil here. As you can see the steam. Just a good bit of steam in there. We reached a boil. It took 13 minutes. Well, I said there's a wind blowing through. Um, it is still burning. I said I know you can't can't see it on camera, but it is still burning. Um, I'm gonna let it keep running. Let the camera go, or I'll cut the camera off rather than let the timer keep running. And uh, I'll get back to you here in just a minute. And we'll see how long this stuff burns till it burns out. And then I'll show you what you're left with um, to get this water out of here. I'll show you. Um, there's a little bit of discoloration of the titanium. But I've noticed even on the Vargo stove, when you use alcohol, it does that as well. There's no soot. You can see that's clean. It just... Uh, changes color a little bit but that don't bother me none you can see how fast titanium cools down too which is another advantage to it I'll get that water out of there before I put it back in my kit so we're gonna cut the camera off and uh, I'll be back with you when that burns all right out. guys let's see see if y'all can see that at all 1849 um, there's still just a tad bit of flame coming off of it I'd say you probably got 15 minutes of actual usable flame um, the rest of it really wouldn't do you that much good um, zoom in on that real quick and show you there's nothing in there but a little bit of white powder and just because I know this little stove's probably warm there may be a little flame or two unless you can't see it but, uh, yeah, we did. It wipes right out. There's nothing but powder. I said this was the fuel gel. Rob selling these for uh, $3 a box. So that's a dollar a pack for the uh, for each one of these in there if you want to break it down that way. Um, not starting with a ferro rod, and I threw some heavy sparks on it. That's kind of a bummer for me in a lot of ways because I don't like to use a lighter for anything other than a cigarette. But uh, still not a, a bad product at all. I definitely don't consider that a turn off. Um, there's got to be ways you could start it. I mean, if you've got a little cotton ball or something with you, just any kind of you know flame that sits on it for a little while will make it start up. But uh, for $3 a box, it's definitely worth buying a box or two to keep them in your kit. Um, I keep a little lighter in my lunch kit anyway just in case everybody keeps a lighter in their fire kit so uh, definitely worth buying I said contact Rob at the canteen shop pick these up three dollars a box you can't beat them y'all I said 15 minutes of burn time just like the alcohol but with no smell um, I didn't even smell anything today while it was cooking so if you're looking for a little bit more of a stealthy way to cook your food, this will work with your canteen cup, your Vargo stove. Um, you could even put it right on the ground 
and uh, put your canteen stove over the top of it or you know put your some rocks over the top of it to set your uh, canteen cup on or whatever you got definitely do the job for you all right cable guy Ken here peace out